Hi, Internet. Hey. Hello, Internet. Hi. We are here today to discuss the DW86. season um, people ask a lot about the car we've got a wonderful forum where we've got some nice pictures and videos to go through so we just thought we'd show you it's um, trans various transitions I am Phil from Driftworks it's my business partner James Robinson uh, this is Rich Stark he takes awesome pictures and says stupid stuff sometimes Al Clark Media and Mr Craig Taylor who's largely responsible for actually building the bloody thing you basically keep Driftworks running <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. let's face it none of us yeah. would yeah. actually drive with a personal <laughs> yeah. Yeah. without Mr Dino Talk that's exactly. it indeed well, so, can, we get it, can we just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. can we just yeah. we've never talked about this car much no like, we, we look round it quite often yeah and you've never really done like the whole from the start thing have yeah you? absolutely it has been a long road with the car so um there's a lot that's happened over the, the four years of using it um it was essentially it was bought in it was the build started in 2013 really didn't it so with the purchase yes. of let's have a quick look here one of these a spangly as car it's called and this was not basically not a NASCAR. No, not a NASCAR. It an was basically it, an ASCAR. Yeah, so it, it's a it was a car from a UK series of sort of it was NASCAR like, but uh, lower spec engines used at Rockingham Rockingham Speedway. Um, they just basically went out of fashion, didn't they? And a lot of them came up for sale throughout the years. It's because of the rain we have here or something. Yeah, I think Rockingham basically built this amazing track and the UK weather kind of wrecked the whole series. <laughs> but, you know. that's the, so the story goes. But yeah, that's a perk for us because basically it meant that we got to buy this amazing spec racing car, basically. Yeah. Um, for it was probably about seven or eight grand, wasn't it? Which yeah, it was UK not a lot pounds, of money. Which wasn't a great deal of money. Did you buy that before getting the Corolla? I already had the Corolla. Oh, okay. um, yeah, the, track car. the 86 was basically my That's kind of track car slash road car, um, and it had had a 20 valve put in it. Didn't work properly. I got a bit fed up with it, and it was kind of parked up. Mm. Uh, the opportunity to buy a, a silly as car came up. Um, we didn't really have a, a, an actual plan for it. It was just kind of like a cool thing that came up for sale right. on the Driftworks forum. Yeah, and we were like. That's cool. I want it. I don't know what. It was for. on the Driftworks forum. Yeah, it was on the Driftworks forum. I remember it was all yeah. sorts of Free stuff for sale there. Yeah, yeah. It was so like massive back then. Yeah. But I can't imagine you ever thought your first thing would be to put it in. Well, we were looking for a project, yeah. weren't we? We were looking for the next year's project car. Yeah. After the S15, which had been really successful, a really yeah. good car. And we wanted something new, something different. Yeah. Uh, there were. A load of uh, things were pointing towards doing like something like a GT86 yeah, or a Yeah, there's quite a few people doing things like that. Something a bit there, newer, yeah. something a bit more contemporary, but it just, it just didn't look like the right path yeah. for us. And the two that come together of these two cars kind of happened relatively naturally, them both being uh, live axle based cars and kind of as wanting to um, start using a V8 uh, for reliability and mostly because Craig knows a hell of a lot about them. Uh, Dynatalk next door have, um, at this stage, you've probably done about 32 about engine swaps well, with yeah. um, yeah. LS yeah. engine swaps mm. in a variety of things from like RX-7s to BMWs to all sorts. TBRs, and it was just a really yeah. simple yeah. way to get quite a lot of grunt, um, good power mm. and hopefully reliability. So yeah, we basically came up with this plan to kind of crash these two things together and make something awesome. But crucially, what everyone thought you were going to do was going to put the V8 in it. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing that, that there was a lot of controversy surrounding the whole yeah. thing because, you know, you don't put a V8 in, in, no. in an 86, do you? So, um, yeah, that was what people originally thought we were going to do. Um, it was actually something much bigger, much grander than just plonking a V8 in a yeah. crawler, as we'll see now. Would it, would it have even got in? Would it would have fit, yeah, well, kind of. The thing is, if it, if it, you know, it, you, it? you've got to go there and look at axles, gearboxes, yeah. and everything to cope with the power. So well, the car would have folded yeah. itself in half yeah, straight away. Absolutely. Like, mine, 
has what 190 horsepower yeah. maybe. So yeah, it would, have, it would have been quite a, quite a bit more than that. <laughs> Four then. times the amount of power. Yeah, and it was kind of would have been one thing if we were just looking to churn tires, but actually we wanted to go somewhere with the car and for it to be competitive and whatnot. So um, yeah, traction, grip, everything like that was the idea, and we start to form a little plan. Yeah, that picture there. That's that's the as car with all its body panels off. Yeah, the Corolla in the background and the the R thirty two Skyline as well in the background there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually drift one of our actually. oldest um, drift cars, almost from the beginning. And there is the little Corolla. Little it's like did such it know a mad, what had in store for it. Space buggy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's mental, isn't it? And like, there's a load of detailed shots you can look at if you're on the forum. But yeah, there's us kind of disassembling it. That's almost done. The uh, the work involved in that space frame alone is um, is incredible. Oh, this was a pretty cool video. Luke made for us. Is that the first time we rolled the car out, really? Uh, what yeah, is... we bought it, but yeah. Yeah. Why not do something Even with it? Even getting so. in, it was fun. It just had that kind of race car feeling. Yeah. Getting in. It just felt like an excited did little boy. Did it have boy. doors? Uh, it, no, you no, had no, to, to climb, climb in and out of it. Oh yeah, we probably edited that bit out because it was probably not that graceful. <laughs> There's the S15 as well. Jigs hazard stuff. Yeah. It was just a normal Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> on the yeah. estate. It's a... Yeah, everyone getting involved. Yeah. yeah. That's a great place. A bit, but... like There's a burnout, obviously. You know, it's one of our cars. That's how it needs testing. And then I think we broke it. Oh, the AR yeah, is, is one of Craig. <laughs> the estate. Yeah. Everybody thinks it's us. It's this guy. Well, it's actually his evil twin because it wouldn't yeah. be him because it's you know yeah. it's frowned upon to do John. this. John. So that, that's <laughs> a, yeah. Craig's friend John. He gets around John. That's way to work. That's a one thousand and seventy horsepower uh, RX seven. So that's twin turbo LS seven. That one wasn't it? Or something. Yeah. yeah, that's badass. So yeah, that's that. So. It looks America for the gl yeah. briefest glimpse of not you know, and the fact it's got an American flag. On yeah, it. absolutely. <laughs> Uh, and oh, then we start stripping that. the crawler. There we go. This is a dummy block we plonked in just to see how much work we had in store for ourselves. Axel, Axel here's the original one and the one at the Ascar. That almost doesn't show how much no. bigger. Uh, there's a picture later oh, on that will yeah. show you just how, how heavy it is. Yeah. Uh, Craig's getting busy. And look at this, look look where the, um, <laughs> the diff actually sits inside the car. We're very um, lucky that the pinion angle on, on the wing just goes in right at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, right at the bottom, because it's got an undershaft, If it was it? traditional in the centre, yeah. there's no way it should yeah, work. Yeah, so is that an 18-inch mod car? So yeah, this is a but simulation, it's pretty much exact sort of half-cut um, simulation of the rolling radius of the tyre where we're going to use. Probably has about as, as much grip as a yeah. thing well. <laughs> High-quality Ling Long. But basically, it was just to work out where we're actually going to need to have the axle sit and also where we're going to cut the quarter panels and here's Craig and doing Craig some work. Craig Taylor approved Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so here's Craig grinding into the engine block. A lot of people thought that this was um, him exactly. grinding into yeah. the actual engine. Yeah. Craig has two dummy blocks with their cracked liners or something, are they? Yeah, there? one's been crashed and snapped in the middle. Right, yeah, it, so that's what it's it is. perfect for that. Again, big holes starting to appear. That's the Jericho gearbox. There's a tunnel being welded. There was lots of fabrication at this stage. This is our buddy Dan, who worked for us at the time. And here's me getting a glory shot, pretending that I did lots of this. I think these guys have worked for two days at this point. I don't think that was even plugged in there, was it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did some. Yeah. I yeah, seem to but... remember that being a pretty much a miserable two oh, or three was. weeks was. Yeah, just yeah. of prep, of grinding I mean, at the end of the day, literally, Dan, we swept up every day. And yeah. It was like a carpet of cool yeah, yeah, Every exactly. time you came around, you just looked like you are fresh out of the coal yeah. mine. Yeah. And then there's obviously you can see some of the welding that's gone into this. The strength of the car was probably the most important thing for me, being kind of a a big guy in a very small old 1986 car. Uh, safety was going to be paramount in it, so a lot of a lot of metal was put into this, including probably like 20 kilos of welding wire. <laughs> And then it went to Nixon, who did an absolutely incredible job on um, on uh, the welding here on the cage. It's a T forty five multi point cage that we had him do. Um, yeah, there's loads of detailed shots. Is it again. fully uh, like a fully? It's not like the rally car off the shelf. It's fully no, custom. no, it's, it's fully there. custom and yeah. like um, amazing door bars that these have actually seen their fair share of um, use over the years. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the like 
Were you inspired by the ice car? Yeah, I mean, at, at this time, there was a lot of uh, people were starting to use this style of door bar, but I thought it was absolutely essential again to have some space between me where I'm okay. sitting and, and the side impact zone. And the amount of people have hit the side of that car and yeah, it's, still, hard. it's still the original door skin. So yeah, you know, thanks, it's, guys. It's <laughs> and it makes getting in out of it easier. It does. And, and working, working on it yeah. and all sorts. So, yeah, that was absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah, there's tons of photos there. We're kind of skimming through the photos here. If you want to have a look on the forum, all the photos are there. You can. Yeah, have a good look. Yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing there's about two and have your leisure. Two hundred and fifty yeah. photos on this set, something like that. And then we start to get some parts for it. So this is a Genvy throttle body bits. kit that we bought. These are some carbon air boxes that we were originally intending on using and didn't end up doing so. This was for the lovely. at this point this we'd already decided to get so you'd already decided to put more power in it, so that was now for an LS3 <laughs> So the car came with an LS1. Yeah, yeah it's an Before LS1 really started, basic. Yeah. The AS car came with a really basic LS1. Um, very soft cam. Craig will tell yeah. you about like the rev limit yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like it. very low RPM limit to basically just do circle after circle after circle yeah. right. reliably. So very low lift cam. No, no straight on the engine really, just to make it ultra reliable. So yeah. very no three hundred eighty horse. Is that all? Yeah. Mm. Basically, it wasn't I thought it was a powered car, really. It nah. was more for just the I thought it was a bit boring. So. Barely worth, yeah. Yeah. Barely worth getting up. Yeah. Yeah. By, cool. by, by the time you, you know, upgrade that engine and a new cam, valve train, the stuff it needs, yeah. well, sell them mm. by now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we did, yeah, basically. So. Um, so, yeah, and then we're rolling on to this is a, a really good shot. I really like this, this because it gives you a little bit of a, an idea about what we had to do to make. The massive and once again controversial decision: eighteen-inch rear wheels. Eighteen-inch rear wheels on a Corolla, you just don't do. Seventeen's on the front, though, right? Seventeen mm. front, eighteen rear. Yeah. Uh, and again, this is another thing that people are like. You're going to do what? That's going to be wrong. Everything's going to be wrong. And I had. You tried for a while to do fifteen. Yeah, we did look into tire choices mm. for that, like old Lamborghini tires Couldn't and stuff like tires. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they were like two hundred and ninety quid each <laughs> if you could get them. Heritage. Yeah, yeah. it was fairly clear that we were going to need a lot of tires. <laughs> any of our previous cars and doing yeah, it properly it 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 yeah, yeah, what was the condition of the original Corolla because some people were looking and thinking oh, oh, why are you chopping it up yeah and we've had that as well so mixed. I basically saved it um, it was it really 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 rusty so I'd already done a lot of the repair work on it um, but I again didn't feel it was structurally sound enough to actually build into uh, a race car so we've horse, added man. a load yeah. of metal in again yeah. so yeah it was by no means a mint car all the pockets had gone on in normal bits that eight sixes have problems with so here's the line that you can see we're um where we're planning on cutting actually it ended up more like that i think didn't it craig we ended up yeah, even higher. higher that um, was original wide height and then you, yeah. you went no yeah no. not good enough <laughs> And it was lower. literally the conversation, well, we'll stop building then. Yeah. If we can't go lower, forget. Yeah. That was it. We had, that, well, we had that conversation. Yeah, there's, there's the one thing that I was not going to do, and that was going to have a car that looked like shit. So, <laughs> right, in the and right, sky. Yeah, ride height. So, quite a learning curve. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ride height is Because at this point, important. you hadn't fully dialed into the Driftworks ride height methodology no. yet, had you? No. You still want to, because you've made your cars work for road everywhere. Fast and functional. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I literally have had to make new ramps to get car, his cars. Craig lives yeah. on a mountain, so all of his cars have to be certain parts. Yeah, yeah. He, like, he likes just ramming up curbs as well. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we, we're slowly teaching him the way, yeah. but you know. Uh, in this shot, you can see the third point for the um, suspension, the rear suspension here, which is a central, that's like uh, third and link on that. it's all adju this adjustable on yeah. the rear, on the front, so we can alter all the angles. Yeah, so we can alter the, the height the, to this. Heights, right? Yeah, it's yeah, fully adjustable set. So that's onto the cage that Nixon yeah. made and put the, yeah. the mounting points on, yeah, but we're it. reusing a load of parts of the ice car. We're trying yeah, to reuse as much as possible just to keep yeah. the cost down and to... Yeah. And and some of the parts were make use of all the like really that gold nice part parts. was um, it's a CNC adjustable height. Beautiful, point. wasn't it? How it, racing it, stuff. Yeah, yeah, beautiful still. Same as a same as yeah. a genuine um, NASCAR. NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. yeah, most of the components yeah. were the same. It was just the uh, engine, which seemed to be like a yeah, the, the just, main yeah. low spec. I think bit. it's basically that, a NASCAR with a below yeah. grade engine. That photo you just got past that yeah. sort of starts to. That's kind of the first yeah. time you start to emerge to see what exactly it might look like. And yeah. again, that sort of is showing. What the intentions are with the ride height. Mm. Again, we did end up cutting more. Like when you when you stand back and look at that, yeah. Because I, I wasn't here at the time. What was like your your first impression? I was, yeah. You know, when I can see something starting to take shape like that, you've obviously got an idea in your head about what you want it to look look yeah. like. And when things start to come together like that, you just, I mean, it's so exciting. Uh, yeah, it was. 
it was Fuck really good that the vision at this stage of thinking you know what my idea might actually fucking work <laughs> so, uh, even at that stage we spent probably two months building yep it, it, it we still weren't 100% sure that it would it would no. work you know that the yeah, heights that it was and remotely practical it yeah. was still yeah. like is this going to be right yeah. the other cool thing about this build because I wasn't I wasn't here yet I was yeah. still still swimming around at home mm. yeah the build thread the build thread you yep. are updating it regularly yeah, actually, yeah that's what a lot of people don't do they don't yeah. drip through things and actually i was sitting at home in my pants gaming <laughs> reading this yeah. but, but that that's how Thinking, i oh, i'd really like to work guys. for those guys sorry for the image at home slowly pausing yeah mother i need food man yeah, so, wipey yeah. I, re- I remember all, I, all the images i still remember reading them on the forum yeah like, before I wrote it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a shame that um, forums are kind of going uh, going away thanks to yeah. like, Facebook and things like that. Having one place to put everything is absolutely brilliant, and that's yeah. one thing that we really tried to do with this car. This thread has actually been revamped a little bit because we had so much, so many comments about stuff, so many questions answered, so many ideas from people, so actually we've had to redo it um, to have everything in order because there's about a thousand comments the first time. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, the, the rear tub's going in there, um, some of the safety gear, again, this is do- these are donors from the original Ascar, they're really cool. Uh, that's Ooh. is that an LS3? That's the that's the LS3. Yeah. So yeah, we didn't we didn't ever see the LS1 go in there, did we? No. So this is LS3, um, just a crate motor. I don't think it did it have a cam. Yeah, we we had to put a cam in it, and that was about it, wasn't it? And the dry dry sump system there. Yeah, cam valve things. Yeah, push that's dry sump system version one. Yeah. And oh, here, yeah. like that's a, that gives you a real idea about how gigantic that engine is in that bay. Do you know if we never had to go orange? I reckon just like. Unbrushed silver. That looks so cool. <laughs> well, the, yeah, there style. might have, the, yeah, the, the, style, there yeah. might have been some rust taken out of that picture in Photoshop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the saturation. The problem now. is when you, yeah, when you, um, when you're doing so much fabrication, there is a lot of brown that comes through, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's really cool with sort of showing the tubs and the cage and the background and throttle bodies and everything. Do you remember this stage? So much work had gone into it. Yeah. And so much hard work and hours had been put on, and we still had something that sort of looked a bit crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we Just were really struggling. Just sort of yeah. it was a bit grotty and a bit grubby. We'd put up so many pictures yeah. of stuff, we were kind of thinking, oh, is it, should we just wait until it's painted or do people actually want to see you know, the, the, the dirty work if you, yeah. if you want? And people, yeah, but, start, people building at home, that's yeah. the reality. It's yeah. miserable. But again, at this stage, people had really did, still didn't have a full idea of what the, the final concept was. This is only a, a fit before painting anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this not... is a dry build. So yeah. um, we've done it before where we've built cars, um, had them painted before actually testing them, and they look beautiful. And then you end up like Ripping having to drill holes in some, in some really beautiful paintwork, weld stuff on. Mm-hmm. So we decided that this would be a full a full build on this one and then um, pull it apart and break it for paint. So here's an interesting shot. This one is the, uh, these are axle tubes for the rear axle. The rear axle from the AS car was, um, it had, Minus four degrees one side, uh, positive four degrees camber on the other side. I so, going around yeah, because it goes around in circles <laughs> basically. So we bought some half degree axle tubes, and here's the press that we used. For nice. Ice. Yeah. How much press. power is in that press? Uh, quite a lot. Yeah. yeah this is uh, one of Craig's customers and a good friend of ours that you'll see later on in the thread as well. Um, but yeah, we're just basically pressing it into the axle there. Um, and That's cool. That built up. Again, sort of drop links that were fabricated. There's so much fabrication on this car that mm. you can't really see when it sits on the floor so low, particularly. The underside of it is, um, you know, a lot went into it. And here you can see the dry sump tank, again, donated from the Ascar, Jericho shifter and whatnot. And all, the, all, all them low arms and everything, all, it, what made it more difficult was they have to go into the Mitchell suspension points yeah. on the which is part of the more so it all has to be fabricated to work mm, yeah. rather mm. than just making all new points. So we made it, you know, so that it, it is correct. Yeah. One of the great things about the 86 chassis is that um, it's very similar to an S13, S, S14 setup. So we were actually able to use uh, tried and tested um, Driftworks components, the GM Master hubs and the CS2 coilovers and our lower arms. Is it relatively on. bolt on or is it? Okay. Uh, it's nice. not too complicated, yeah, it's but the, the same kind of setup. Right. Um, there was there was a few bits bit and pieces we had to do. You can do it on yours. Yeah, <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> uh, again, those uh, the calipers and everything crossed over from the Ascar. 
Uh, here you can see some of the extra strengthening we put in here. It does look a bit gross, but this is all puddle welded in extra strength stuff. So the front crash zone um, is that whole area the super safe. Quite yeah. weak on, on the yeah, it's a bit scabby. So it's... Samco helped us out with some hoses for the project. Uh, more. So look how wide the wheels look on that. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Um, they were on the road as well. Yeah, rear rad. This is Craig doing a lot of this. <laughs> this is exhaust revision number one. And as you can see, that is a bit of a work of art. That's amazing. That's, yeah. But are you, we, this was, I don't know how quickly people were doing this, but the exhaust pointing out to rear wheels. Yeah, it's basically to clear the smoke away from the tyres yeah. um, as best as possible. And it visually looked spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's become quite popular. Actually. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people have um, followed suit on that one. Here's the man himself. There he is. Sure. After a hard oh, day's work. So have we gone from super cold weather to super hot weather? I'm not sure. We yeah. must have done it. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely took like, a, it was like a year to build, was it? Yes. Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah, it was Come a long on. time. Yeah, so he's a happy boy there. And then Ooh, we started yeah. it up and, oh, here's a... Um, a here, YouTube classic. YouTube classic. Controversial video with four million views, I think. And this was the first start. And this has some of my favorite comments ever. This is basically a... Um... Driver instructor training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy can't drive. <laughs> Get him some driver instructor training. Yeah, so this was like no real map on the engine. The throttle map, yeah, there's well, non-existent. It, 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 got so. an, it got a, a map in for a, one, the throttle, um, a normal intake. Right. Yeah. It's on the throttle body, so it, it's completely wrong. We just literally yeah. paid about 10 minutes, right, it'll work, you'll get up here's, here's another you favourite know. comment, though. People think, in this shot in a minute, if just watch, people think there's a rat that pokes its way out. It's just grass. Watch. See that? Yeah. <laughs> it's another favourite comment. Um, yeah. I, I stored it a lot, you know, yeah. So terrible you get the driver. message, terrible. Uh, Terrible driver. Terrible, terrible. So this was just it being loaded onto a trailer to go for mapping before any yeah. of the bodywork or anything had, had been done. Yeah. And then we had a little issue with running bearings and we thought we'd sort, we would be able to solve it with um, an anti-aeration device. Mm. Uh, but we t actually turned out that the um, dry sump system that we were using from the Ascar was basically not good enough. Um, Can that generate a lot of conversation on the forum as well? Yeah, there was a lot of people busy. talking about dry yeah. sumps back then. And they were always and... a bit of a nightmare, as we found yeah. out sort of along yeah, the road. Everybody as well. thinks dry sump is just the cure for everything, yeah. and it's really not. No, it's, it's it can introduce issues as well. Incredibly difficult, difficult to set up. Yeah, a lot. They, they can just fit and work, yeah. or they can be an absolute. Was nightmare. the reason for the dry sump because you had it and it helps the engine fit lower, or was it? It was already there, and we had all the stuff, yeah. and it's it's a racing part, so yeah. of course it's perfect. Uh, in theory, but... it's it's the best. You know, yeah. work, keeps the oil always and, going. And also uh, clearance. I mean, we've got the engine very, very low in the yeah. car, very low. Well, that's, that's why a lot of people so. I know end up dry sumping a car because just to get the engine down yeah. in, in yeah. a situation. Yeah, like yeah. absolutely. Do LSS have issues with oil? Uh, they ha they are known for it in some of them, aren't they? But not not any more than an, not, any other engine. No, really, the but. problem is that people say, "Oh, yeah, they've they run No, but there's just so many of them out there. The percentage of them having problems is is very very low. Yeah, but because of some you do hear about it. But yeah, no, you know, no worse than JZs or BMs or yeah. you know any of them. Not good as an SR. No, not an SR. <laughs> <laughs> or road trip. Yeah. So here's another really important step, and this was. Uh, where we started to design our own aero for the car. Um, so it's also it, probably your most hated part of the internet. The uh, internet really hated this the most. Yeah, for a few days. Yeah, they were like, because we, we showed them this picture, and this is Paul um, who came and helped us out with this. Um, it was me and him that kind of designed it. He did all the hard work, um, sculpting everything. But basically expanding foams poured into moulds, rough moulds, and it's yeah. rough cut. And then this was one of the pictures that we put up just uh, of a, a bit, stage a one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> in a, yeah. So people thought, oh God, what the fucking hell are they doing? Um, we just wound them up a little bit. But then, uh, as you can see, it really started to actually started take to shape. Because this was always the uh, kind of the basis for the styling of the car, that although we were going really extreme, we wanted it to be really respectful to the original lines. Yeah. Wanted it to still totally look like a Corolla, have all the same. Yeah. Design cues and not just bolts on arches. Yeah, not just yeah. look like it had massive bubble arches or a huge kit on it. We wanted it to just look like a Corolla. That had just some weird stuff. And, got yeah, yeah, yeah. and actually, we timed it quite well. I, well, I say we. Rocket Bunny wasn't as prolific as what it is now. No. 
No, no, like when this was being done, there was but no like, really, Rocket Bunny really, S15. Yeah, but they're not really, really Rocket Bunny style then, isn't they? But if we did it now, yeah. I bet people would just say we were, we were copying that. Yeah. But they weren't specifically rivet on bolt on style. It no, was, it no. was like it was kind of like bodywork that had been stretched, almost yeah. liquefied and stretched yeah. out. And we introduced sort of all of these lines to sort of um, when you flare standard arches on um, a nor- more normal crawler on 15s or 14s or whatnot. We just wanted to sort of do it more and, as I say, continue to be as respectful as possible whilst fitting gigantic wheels to yeah. a tiny little car. And um, does it show just, just how many hours that took? I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't actually hours. explain how long we spent doing this. Paul spent... <laughs> well, Paul, you, Paul you explained here. it there for yeah. about 60 hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't explain it there. It was 60 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. 60 cold hours as Paul well. stayed yeah. here for, like, a, he'd stay for a week to do the yeah. um, the first stage, then he'd go away and he'd take them. He'd, uh, take plugs make molds from them come back to another stage um, we'd refine the, the design because I'm very specific about how I want it to look he was he was my equal though in that in that um, regard though he was absolutely brilliant but it did end up taking weeks and weeks and weeks and cost us thousands and thousands of pounds to do but the end result was basically something that I was gonna like yeah, <laughs> not paid. So there's loads of stuff that I could have fitted to it that yeah. might have worked, but it would never looked. But it's, right. I, I mean, you say it's just about you, but also there is, I mean, you know, the internet seems to grow in a very strong emotional bond to old cars being chopped up. Yeah, yeah. And if the, not that it was ever supposed to please the internet or even like make people hate on the internet, because again, why do you do that? But it was supposed to be that everyone could look at it and go, like, yeah, yeah, I like what you've done there. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that is a Corolla still. Yeah. As much as it possibly could be. I think that was some final tweaks before it went to Soda Blast. The guys at Soda Blast really helped us out as well. So we took it on our rotis. We, the guys blasted it down, and then we got them to do a nice layer of ice primer, mm. and then it came back to Driftworks. There's my old JZX 110, which Craig refers to as. I bet not <laughs> <laughs> it was. He thought it was the Chinese Mercedes. Is what, what it used to call the it. Chassis. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes. 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 Uh, yeah. And here's here's a, a horrible day working, basically what filling the chassis making rails a mess. with making a terrible mess. Expanding foam, um, structural foam inside all the chassis rails. So was that from cavities. rigidity of the chassis yeah. rails? Where yeah, you were just filling gaps. Of, yeah, there's one chance to do that because it's so it's such a horrible, disgusting thing to have to do. So it's, there's only one chance to do it, and that's when the shell's like this. So I decided to it do looks that. Like bonds been there. <laughs> 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 and let's pull with the first set. Um, this was just a test set of arches that we came. And look at that. The lines you can start to see are appearing there. Ooh, CCWs. Oh, yeah, classics. Again, very nice. We had to um, get the wheels right on it as well. I think that's why a lot of people just fall down on the wheels. Yeah, part, and then they, just, they just put the wrong mm-hmm. wheels on. Yeah, this was before we were, we were um, the uh, main European importer for work wheels, so these were an obvious choice for me. Did you ever put them on in silver? No, nah, I'd never. Um, uh, again, because they're such big wheels, I've decided that they're always going to be dark, a dark colour, to basically de emphasise how big they are, um, because I didn't want it to look. Too awkward and RC car like. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely it's def- I, In some ways, people will probably say, yeah. say something yeah. better than the works. I, 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 do I like. I really like them. I really do. But you know, uh, I, I think, work don't I, they make work, wheels. work don't make seventeen inch three, three piece wheels and anymore, and that's that's the, that's a big issue for me. Um, and then we bought a F two fifty and a nice truck trailer so even. Truck. Oh yeah. Oh, this was a bad time. This was, this a, bad was time. a bad, bad so we're time. In a this was your mad, alcoholic phase. We were in a mad <laughs> no, I'm still in that. <laughs> <laughs> That's never, never a bad time. No, no. So we were trying to get this ready for autosport. Mm. Uh, just a mad rush. Nice to have a deadline to get stuff done, but it was a tight deadline. Say nice oh. now. It's, 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 it's <laughs> nice then, was it? About how many days out from dead autosport was this? I, I think no, we're not many. We, yeah, we, we can't we many. Many. There was, It was four there, days, There was I no think. contingency. Yeah. And it had gone to our local painter and we told him how hard we'd been working and how we were going to a show done, yeah. and how important it was for us to have an amazing job. And yeah. we went to pick it up and... This is um, what it looked like. We just didn't know what to say. Yeah, so we picked it up and this, this guy told us that this was the best job that anybody could do on this car because of the cage. 
And that's and the big, big tailgate shirt. So like, what difference? Like, that? absolutely, what the? Yeah, so absolutely <laughs> fucked us. So we were, thanks we very much very for that, Terry. Appreciate it, mate. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we took the car away. Um, we had no choice but to call in a favour from our friend Paul Jackson here, who is an absolute hero. And this is, bear in mind, this is the middle of winter. It was particularly cold. Um, yeah, because of the gas heater. He's a guy with a Camaro on the back. Yeah, that's his Camaro. We literally called him at, so cool. was it like about 7 o'clock one yeah. night? And me and, and him painted this until... that night to paint it. Yeah, I think it was literally. 2 o'clock in the morning something like that we we repainted the entire car we basically completely fucked up our entire warehouse with overspray um we covered our trailer though obviously uh, <laughs> and then it, it just looked absolutely fantastic and the only way we could dry it was nice. overnight Look at that. in the um in, in our <laughs> in paint our booth new, in our new mobile booth <laughs> yeah yeah our baking uh, oven. it's good use of a 20 grand trailer <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there we go. So that's the next day. We're all tired as fuck, but we start assembling. And an impre- impressive cracks. finish for yeah. Uh, literally. A but look how good. I that mean, looks that's now. yeah. All of, as we say, all of the fabrications are great. It's really nice to see in detail. But when you see it in one color, it's a completely different thing. Do you go orange in the interior just because orange everywhere? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I like orange. Yeah. All right, that's the photo I really really yeah. like. It's that is. Thank you. Like you Is that one of Mr. Starkey's? Yeah. Anyway, I love that because yeah. it shows the car. And the things start to go in it's and the contrast the of everything mm-hmm. and like the quality of the components that we were using. It's just, it gets really exciting from this point because all the work had been done over a year to do this dry build, but now it's now it's coming together relatively easy, easily because everything's been there before. All of the holes are drilled. We, we had to re-tap How some of you, the threads and stuff. How did you plan it? Like you've done the you've done you built it once. Did mm-hmm. you just um just take it off, put it on the floor yep. in a certain place? Basically, just yeah, just, out of the way. I think it was stored. Yeah. Here. I think we literally take it apart as big a clumps as possible. Yeah. But then a lot of stuff we put together. You know, we like well, and then you take it apart and you bolt it in, get some veins, powder coat in. Yeah. Try and make it. You know, make captive nuts where necessary, just for ease of you know trying to fix it if we have to fix yeah. it quickly, and you know just. Did you sort of like redesign the things it was going to make? Well, actually, no, while we're redoing this, there was very little of that, that, wasn't there? There's maybe some final tweaks here and there, but. I think that's probably your OCD actually coming coming to that help you. Yeah, just I I think it's a bit of a silly word to to use OCD because OCD can be such a massive, horrible thing for some people. But but for you, I'm just just particular. But all your cars are the same, though. Everything you build is. I try to do things too. But it's also reasonable standard for, yeah. for that part of the job that you know that's the benefit of the experience of Greg and Donna talk is yeah. that yeah. It, it is important this is not built on like a NASCAR them, yeah. build budget no absolutely I think people think that this is no I know, think uh, money no object oh absolutely is, um, at this point particularly the company was you know we were still relatively fresh although we're we are now 15 years old nearly something like mm-hmm. that you know we're not we're not money bags now, but you know it's a, it's a difficult time to build a car that costs so much money and do it right. So that's where sort of clever ingenuity and everything comes in and employing I mean, Craig skills. What one of the things like for from my point of view as like building it is being literally. I mean, I don't think people know we are next door, mm. um, and you know you get to put in. Mm, well, I want this, but you know, you know, literally, I wouldn't feel proud for this. Yeah, in like, brilliant. You know, There's a lot of four or five times day just like, yeah, you know, because how because. What you don't want to do is, is do something come out and go, oh, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, even putting seats in steering wheels, come yeah. and have a sit in it. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Yeah. things and like that makes a massive Try this, try this, build. try yeah. this, tweak, try this. And yeah. you don't end up going backwards and doing stuff twice yeah. if you if you build it that way, which makes a big difference. Yeah. It's a lot easier for me, but certainly. For sure, yeah. You know, so is that a sad picture you've just it's a sad, saddish, past of a saddish yeah. picture here of That's like another oiling yeah. issue um which is, is that after the dyno yeah yeah so this right. um again we think was down to the moroso sump or something like that in the dry sump system so instead of just rebuilding it obviously upgrade upgrade, <laughs> upgrade. any excuse so yeah this is now a built ls3 Oh, misery. This is a picture of misery. <laughs> I, remember t- I remember turning up. That was not your happy place. Yeah. No, I, remember, I remember turning up just like visiting and you guys were 
cold. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you're right. You I, yeah, nah. I, I, did, I did this by myself for two days. Could be just trying to make time, um, horrible, yeah. really cheap fiberglass components designed for a rally car to just smash and replace, smash and replace, to try and make them look good enough to be on our flagship car. And the fit was and, terrible. Oh, it was awful. So there was... It was literally two days of fill, sand, fill, sand, fill, sand. And yeah. this was still on the run-up to Autosport, wasn't it? We knew we had yeah. a really tight deadline. There was no wiggle room and it just had to be done. So yeah. whilst the car's Absolutely. being rebuilt at Craig's, all of this is going yeah. on next door. Right? Yeah. I mean, there was lots of, like, you're doing that meeting and stuff, bits being ordered and whatnot. Yeah. There was a lot going on. And it all come together very well. Yeah, yeah it, it did. Some yeah. coordination. Yeah, mm. considering it was our first real big build together, it, it did work yeah, quite well. Yeah, proper stress, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then we have some nice Stunning. parts arriving from Cobra seats. These are these were awesome seats that we had made by them. Um, two seats though. Yes, yeah, two at that time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here's the wheels being worked on with the orange tint that we're gonna. You'll see through the bolt holes basically. The the CCWs have a secondary hole in between each mounting bolt, and they go together. Those are posh. Yeah, these were um, because the Ascar axle used. Did it use Imperial? I think they were they were half inch. They were massive, yeah, weren't they? Really the studs weird, yeah. in it were massive. So we basically made these had martin a friend of um craig's make these race style um studs in m12 1.5 didn't we yeah. with the, like lots of proper tall steel so they're super good yeah steel. and those are those still live on this car to date and you can imagine how many times we take the wheels on and off the back of that car um and they're still absolutely brilliant we had spare set made thinking wow because they will wear out eventually yeah, still haven't used them, them yeah. Yeah. it's Paul painting well, in, in a toilet, toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. destroying the bathroom oh, yeah. Yeah. In, in, in a different sense to normal yeah, 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 but yeah. this is uh, yeah it is actually wrecked <laughs> there's over, over spray <laughs> everywhere still, still to this there, day yeah. 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 Um, but it was just literally it's so cold we needed to have somewhere where, where we could put a bit of heat you employed a member of staff just to clean it did I? I can't remember yeah, really. and then back to the drying, drying booth there Oh, here's James getting stuck in. Your big router. You described this in the past. I didn't as enjoy that. Most complicated <laughs> job on the car. When no. It was, it was pretty. F- it was just something that you didn't want to do. Yeah, it was like whatever jobs I'll do tomorrow, I'll do tomorrow. And yeah. Like James yeah. sort of said, well, I could probably do that. It's like yeah. brilliant. But the amount of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, so this is. I managed to volunteer myself. Is it like, yeah. is it, is it like a day or so? To oh, yeah. yes. But it required such a level of um, detail with the measurements and everything. Yeah. Like that because, you, again, you knew that if we didn't do it right, when we put it on, we're just going to stand back and go. Ugh. But luckily, James really, really put everything yeah. into it. And look, look, what it look what it looks like. Go but with that, working with like, Perspex in the freezing cold is really... Yeah, yeah, yeah shattered yeah, pieces. I mean, you know, we put them together a lot, you know, trying to do it and put do a test fit in time. To, you know, it's so easy to... Yeah. Crack See, our friends in California cold. don't know how easy they have it. You know, <laughs> 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 ones, the ones on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no. But, I mean, you see... Yeah. It could have got could have turned out yeah. quite bad, but it didn't. And the idea for the, the little detail on the wheel was really worked. I was really happy with that. Some matte black centres and gloss black lips with that detail. And these the, this picture is a bit deceiving because they look absolutely gigantic, which worried me a little bit at this stage, but the arches aren't on it and I think the back tire was those a, had a the dyno tire. Yeah, 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 I had some big tires just the, for the dyno. The yeah. car was so low, you dropped it into, into the rollers and a dyno and it, it Clanked onto the, yeah. flat, onto the yeah. chassis, so yeah. that's a bit big tyres. Oh, fancy shot by Mr. Are, Starkey yeah. again. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, that's pretty cool. Do you still I take photos? I can take fancy <laughs> shots as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people hate that kind of thing. Oh. Colour pop. And there we go. Some pipe cross filters going on there, and there's one worrying thing about it. Uh oh. I hate them poking you always, out. You always knew that was going to be an issue, though, didn't you? I always knew it was potentially going to be an Just issue. Just not sure how much. Uh, yeah. Um, there's a few things that I hate in life. There's many things I hate in life, but one of them is definitely things poking out of bonnets. I think so. I've turned my back there because yeah, it was. Like, yeah, the only thing that should poke out of a bonnet is a big, dirty supercharger intake. Screaming. On a on like on a, a drag. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I yeah. think the issue with the Genby is they're offset as well, which yeah. just even the, the intake would be. But uh, he had actually said to me about it. Bear my tool paints and that. Well, we need to lower the engine more. It's like no, <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. We just I'm could it have been lowered more? Not no. really. No. no, no, not as well. So there, 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 you can see how gigantic those tyres are. Those are not the ones that we end up using. Um, new tool, Ooh, glowing headers there. Oh, that made a good row. Flames. Who likes flames? I, like I like flames. flames. We'll like a few flames. Yeah. I love flames. 
Well, mm, that sounds it doesn't do that anymore, does it? No, oh, Craig, no. why doesn't it do that anymore? <laughs> maybe it was maybe yeah. it was broken and has removed yeah, that yeah, option. Yeah, yeah. His health and safety gone yeah. mad. Yeah, uh, here's so, some more of Paul's work. Um, these were just photos sent to my mo mobile phone, and then here we start to see more of that uh, firewall. That's pretty boring, so we'll go past that. But yeah, it's basically an alloy sheet that we had to make to my seat kind of sat back into it. So it had to be a special shape, and then it was. But this um, is blocked. This, 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 it is actually supposed to hold the smoke out of the car yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, you spend your life smoking and, and fuel. That's a yeah. smoke bomb yeah. that we use as well just to sort of see where it leaks out of, whether the seals are doing their job, etc. Um, oh, there's a photo doing? of the car when we first put the windows in. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you can so see with the Perspex windows around the sides, they didn't have any trims because they didn't need any yeah. seals. And so, so these are the back the ones. Yeah, so these are the original back crawler um, mm. trims there, but it just didn't look right there. So um, we actually pulled, pulled them all pulled back out again. And then we yeah, masked it all off. And this is sort of the level of detail that, that, that I really wanted to make it still look like the actual car, even mm. if and some elements of it aren't. And this was about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> really important. Yeah. And this is again a point where I just I was just like this is going to work this is going to work this it. is it just looks correct um, again Paul working his ass off more toilet painting <laughs> more uh, trailer drying yeah. yeah and more of bumper painting and then here we go bam Whoa. that's the day the before, money shot. before Autosport wasn't it the, it was actually the night before Autosport I think um, yeah, I know it can't have been because we've got daylight on it but yeah basically it was down to the wire um, I think that was a one before you loaded it was it I think that was literally when yeah. pushing the train the photo is good sure yeah. <laughs> and there there we can see was that a happy moment I just can't begin to describe how how pleased I was with yeah. <laughs> with myself it's like little, one of those you know the um, Jeremy Clarks and smirk face yes. if, if I could do if I could do that I would have done it no, no comment though. was that just not ready for uh, because we tried to make something it just was not going to be ready and people really wanted to see what was going on the inside what of it a massive well. team effort uh, just, just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and yeah it's not 100% finished there's more camber to go on and stuff like that but yeah very yeah. happy. Thanks, Mr. Dino Talk. <laughs> Why don't we have stickers on it? Was that because you did on the S15? You had the few yeah. stickers, didn't you? Well, the S15 went through various stages of different designs, different livery, and you know we liked each one of them a little bit. But for this, we decided that the, that we really wanted to stick to something very simple. Um, James and I had basically. Over the years, we'd had a few little sponsorship deals with the cars that we had and stuff mm. like that, and um, we really wanted to keep the livery simple, but also the way the car was run simple. So it's a bit of a weird thing, but when you have sponsors, like relatively high level sponsors, it can sometimes like be a little bit like having a boss again. Yeah. And James and I have worked very, very hard to be our own bosses. And when you have somebody dictating to you that you know you need to do this for us, you need to do this for us, it do just doesn't feel like it's completely it's your thing and your control. It's not fun that you want. Absolutely not. Yeah. So we actually have one sponsor for this car, and that is Sky Insurance, and they are just a brilliant company that um, have helped us out with insurance on our road cars and uh, trade policy over the years. Yeah, so, and cars, they don't modify cars. They don't ask for much. They just really love the association with us, which has been perfect. After all, I sport, we got it back and we had a little look at the, the corner weights and stuff like that. I don't think we'd set any of the weights here. We were just looking at this number, which is 1193 mm. kilos. Was that what you expected? Yeah, well, yeah, I think that was pretty much the... I think we are more interested in the split, weren't we, to make yeah. sure it was like... Mm. It yeah, went, which was good. I mean, you know, I think we got it pretty much 50 yeah, 50, and then, good. um, yeah, 1193 were pretty happy. Yeah. It actually had some more stuff put into it after this point, so it actually ended up being a bit heavier than that. Um, but this was sort of when it had the Ascar prop shaft on it, which happened to fit and actually brings yeah, us quite nicely to yeah, smashing stuff, smashing that can't stuff, be broken up. yeah, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is something that we were, you know, we had never thought it would ever fail, um, and it did its the yoke off the differential. So we had to pull that out, and we thought, oh, while we're there, we'll probably fit a spool 
Um, it had a Detroit locker, which is a one-way diff, and we didn't really know how well that was going to work, but we knew that if we had a spool, aka a fully locked diff, we knew it would be, it'd be relatively simple to drive. That was a theory, wasn't it? Yeah, we're not actually sure how. <laughs> we were, like, consistent. Often, yeah, it, was okay. yeah. it would be consistent and predictable, yeah. if nothing else. And, and that's maybe. probably, yeah, it's a better image of just how gigantic the, um, the axle diff. is um, in that car. And they're just taking it apart. Well, that's the photo that shows me how big your axle is. Yeah. It's just really yeah. No, this one, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm 6'2". So, uh, and again, that shows the width of the car a little bit as well. That's kind of hidden by the black wheels and the arches and the styling and everything. And but, the width of you after eating. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's winter Christmas. after all. Yeah. 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 Late night like, car. Absolutely. And so, yeah, we're rebuilding that and shimming it. And then the new yoke and new prop shaft. Um, the angle's all wrong at the moment because the top arm's off at this stage. But yeah, hardcore stuff, basically. So that's never going to happen again. How much power should that take? I mean, uh, the pop guy was like, well, you know, this will take eight, 900 foot power at all. Yeah. No issues ever, no problem. It's like, well, we broke it in the wet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we have. Yeah. You know, in, uh, who knows. Uh, then we have a change in dry sump. So these guys were really helpful. Um, we spoke they to them. Really, they, they were at the Autosport yeah, show. And and we got yeah. chatting and they, they sort of... So they bought some bits and there. pieces to replace certain parts of the dry sump. So they got their own pump and uh, oil pan here, which, because of how the engine's located on the cross member, Craig had to get his miller out. <laughs> and, yeah, get busy with sort of basically getting rid of these extra ports here. They were quite used to cutting up really shiny, yeah, things, taking exactly. the angle grinder and yeah. the, 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 Just your back the to the first cut, 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 don't mess it up. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then again, Craig's hands sort of TIG welding. For once he's TIG welding in proper gloves and not Ooh. nitrile. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that photo there. Oh, look at that look at thing in the background. Moving <laughs> in three spokes. How is that? I used to employ the person that owned Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Really nice guy. Yeah, the car. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, done. It's a new slender version. There's there's some of the additional weight right there. This so is over engineering. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it doesn't need to weight. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's weight. Can you sweeten the car around yeah. your head? Tow hooks. You expect yeah. that to be towed a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At that point. Uh, I think this was a revision to the arches. I think I decided that I was going to go ten mil bigger tires, uh, fifteen mil it? wider on the back or something. Was it two six fives? It was originally spec for, and then you wanted two eight fives. Yeah, possibly so before before there was a rule change. Oh, yeah. Don't mention two eight fives. <laughs> so yeah, here's standard, the standard with two eight fives. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, standard. Yeah, standard. standard problem. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. There we are, and this is kind of the final piece of um, the moulding process. Uh, Paul would then take these back, refine the insides of them, and make the actual items that we'll end up with shortly. Mm. Uh, Craig's been busy with the TIG again. This is for our race logic dash that we put in. You can see there the, the, the extender to the steering wheel, yeah. plus the snap off, plus the dish one is just how far back you did. Yeah, absolutely. In the car. Yeah, it was, um, it was as far back as we could possibly Literally. go. Literally. It's partly due to um, pedal box position yeah. because there were floor mounted pedals. Which, how does it go? There the were, pedal box, the, the flappy one like that. Uh, yeah. Like this or like this. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. yeah. Let's say, yeah. We had that. And then also, we were figuring, you know, why not put the weight of why me just, further back in the car? Mm, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's really far back. And you can see we got this sort of uh, car tech controller which controlled a Is lot. Is that still of the A86 steering column? Uh, yeah. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah at that yeah, point. Yeah, it was. Yeah. and everything, yeah. 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 I don't want oh, front right facing brake light. Okay, now we're now we're actually now talking. We're rolling. This is the this is the first test. First actual proper yeah. drive of it anywhere. So this is Birmingham Wheels. The this safest is, track in the world. Yeah, yeah. Venue. yeah, James's potato camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I've just remembered this is uh there's one of my favourite bits in this, so just fast forward a bit. This is one of the it's best things Craig's ever said. Listen to this. <laughs> it's such a cock, such a cock isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Craig. <laughs> it made me nervous. I yeah. stood there when that Oh happened. God, it was it was manic though, wasn't no it? No pressure. Yeah. It was absolutely no, it was, manic. Uh, yeah. So, calm down. Uh, so yeah, that was obviously that went really well. We were was really happy. Day. That that was kind of the first glimpse we had of actually how savage the car was when yeah. it was in action. And it sounded incredible. And I bet well. you two felt very differently about it because you were obviously sat inside it. 
Yeah. You got to sort of the spectacle from outside. And it's it scared me. <laughs> was that what also one of the times when you had, to, you had to... Did you have to sit in, the, in the back the of the car? Oh, watching the fuel pressure yeah, gauge or something like that. It <laughs> got out looking incredibly <laughs> Sorry, you were in the back of the car. I can't remember what it was. Not, not, not for that run, but oh, sitting sweet. in the back of that car was the only we time I've felt sick in a car in such a very long time. We had another NASCAR issue. They had the most beautiful... Swirl pot that dropped in the tank yeah. with flappy doors, all CNC'd, beautiful. Yeah. Bosch 044, we thought, can't improve on that. It turned out he did like right handers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect one way, even though the trap doors looked like they'd work both ways. We have massive fuel starvation. That's the best way to check it so, was to put James in the back, facing backwards whilst I was watching the fuel gauge while Phil was drifting. <laughs> Completely kosher. It was kosher. He got out looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> final product of the arches. Right. Yeah. Now those arches, yeah. I'm always continually impressed at the amount of times your car gets crashed into, mounted, <laughs> off, whatever, yeah. or blown off, yeah. and they just seem to bend and go back on. Yeah. So again, Paul was he was he basically mixed up this recipe for the I think it's Kevlar plus this flexible resin agent that they use on race boats or something I like that. I think some weird alien technology. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, they do. They're so, they so are amazing. Good. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of very plasticky they and moldy. They just don't damage. It's yeah. amazing. Self-healing. Yeah. That's it. Uh, new clutch plates, Craig fabricating, exhaust. No, 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 so this is exhaust number two, I think. Because uh, they said you've got to be quiet for the jack. Return, we had a quiet car. So. Yeah. <laughs> Air Jack bottle. And I really like this. I do actually miss this. It would be convenient sometimes. It's yeah. alive. It's so cool. Um, we don't have this now, unfortunately. It was part of a phase of weight loss for the car. Um, which, but yeah, it was so very cool. cool. Very cool thing. Um, bonnet. This is a bonnet. a bonnet in the UK, guys. This is a, <laughs> it, I think you might know it as a hood if you're uh, viewing from America, but yeah, this is actually a bonnet. There. And then we get busy with making something, and then the finished article for was, was this Banzai, Rich? Banzai, yeah. Yeah, this is Banzai magazine, uh, and again we're at Birmingham Wheels, but I love that shop, even though Rich took it. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely superb. Oh, yeah, so okay. showing off for the camera. Better look at some of the details. Orange detailing in there. Do you get new like lights in the car as well? Like the they're the original ones out of the yeah. car, the front oh, bumper. The original, wow. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, they didn't last too much longer than these photos, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it does look correct. And here's an actual video of this is one of our test sessions that um, again really scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Um, this is more potato cam. It, oh, this is it, the worst potato cam. In my defence, having been the photographer here, uh, there was a lot of smoke and the camera was not focused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. But yeah, absolutely brutal thing. Mm. And also, I, I just love the sound of it because it's it open, open ITV. To me. Yeah, it, it was. was. We didn't have an anti roll bar at that right. point. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it was. Absolutely manic. I won't go through it. You can watch these. But the, the testing yeah. of Birmingham Wheels was the first shakedown just to make sure nothing fell off, make sure nothing yep. was going to. Uh, and that was the first with the arches, away, I think. Yeah. And we're still sort of developing the car. Mm. Um, it's still brand new for all intents and purposes. But yeah, my God, what an absolute what animal to get that out of. That run was the first, the first out of kind of getting going fast yeah. and having a big, lo a big yeah. load of space to play in and, and getting a. Getting an idea for how brutal it was and how yeah. fast it was, it certainly surprised us outside of the car. Yeah, I think that's where you. There about the fuel cut actually. Uh, yes. the problem, wasn't right. it? And then we had another problem with the bloody drivetrain. You showing off smashing the other bits. Yeah. Uh, so that's the other end of the prop shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Which we'd have checked. He said he won't break that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But this is the way we're drifting. Yeah. Monday morning. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. So we actually uh, used one of these in my JZX 110, uh, which is a Tilton. Um, delay valve, clutch delay valve. It just sort of um, like the thing that dampens. people take out of their vehicle. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, tunable yeah, yeah. version of that, basically. Right. Uh, cool. It just we, it, we had it on its on its lowest setting, didn't we? So lowest, yeah, yeah. not slowest. So it was, yeah, yeah, it was. Um, We've used some, used what used to use one of my Alex seven that just to give the the clutch gearbox just that yeah. little bit of. Uh, and also because the engine had a tiny flywheel at that point, yeah, it was able yeah. to move so it quickly so and put such big shock loads into the. And it's not a strong clutch. Yeah, there's no. There's no there's no giving there anything. Nowhere to go. Which we don't know if that you know helps with it or yeah. cause the pop issue. Yeah, but, yeah. 
And here is what our <laughs> mega how different it looks. Yeah. This is a Chevy Menage, our 3500 HD, when we uh, first bought it. In the UK, this thing is ridiculous. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, these poke out probably like three inches it's wider so than, yeah, yeah, and it's just impossible yeah. on UK roads. It's, you know, illegal enough as it is probably. <laughs> so, yeah, and also I don't really like jacked two-wheel drive trucks. So, uh, yeah, that was the start. Uh, Ah, right, so yeah, we'd, um, at one of the events we'd done, I think it was JDM All-Stars or something like that, London, Drift All-Stars yeah. in yeah. London, yeah. we'd snapped the bracket It was a particularly here. bad track though. Oh, it was it? really bumpy, but yeah. There's people the, losing wheels and all sorts of Yeah, yeah. these um, drops that you can see here, the axle's just about here, and the, the length of the drop here to get to the lower arm, it basically had just bent this, so this has got some sort of shipping... Uh, container spec <laughs> um, triangulation and welding here to reinforce that and that really worked yeah there was a phase of kind of twisting things and yeah. reinforcing things and snapping yeah, things absolutely. And reinforcing well, things. Like it passed down didn't it every yeah, time I mean, the, the, the clamps that go around the, the tubes and the axle in a NASCAR um, clamp and grub screw mm -hmm. yeah. because the first time you drop the clutch the axle spins oh yeah, Just it's, so, it, yeah. it's got to go it's somewhere really it's like, oh, I must have tied it up did up against spun the axle again yeah. you realise that they just do not look, launch them that high enough, no, so no. you have to weld, literally weld them in position and tap yeah. on them in, and there's been fine since. But the real learning curve on getting stuff off the car that should be working perfect yeah. and doesn't. Yeah. Not, not in our application. It should be anymore. more than strong enough. It should be more than strong enough and it breaks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the pot things. So basically, we're, should, yeah. we eventually ended up sort of over engineering everything, 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 yeah. everything, and we got there in the end. And here's another phase of. Um, just getting a little bit carried away for no real reason at all. Reinforced it, so you may as well take advantage of more power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> LS, more LS3 power. engine, uh, I'm just disassembling it there to weigh in comparison to uh, Your LS. I, 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 he he'd done all, the, yeah. he'd done all the real work. Again, I'm just coming for the glory. I think he was just pulling the plug caps off. So this is a 454 LSX, which is um, 7.4 litres. It's a steel block. Uh, it's kind of an aftermarket, but GM, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, it's like a performance part. You buy a yeah. performance upgrade. You know. so it doesn't come in any particular car? No, it doesn't no. come in any car. So but it, it's, it's physically the same as LS1, LS2, LS3, LS7. The, the in terms it, of external, external size yeah, yeah. is the same. So they're physically bolted. Yeah, exactly yeah. Same. Um, but yeah, and then we had to have a new set of Jemmy throttle bodies. They're just um, a couple of mil bigger on each of the it's ITBs. It's a different port design. So yeah. It's, uh... yeah, so that looks really cool. Uh, your port matching there, some LSX stuff, cam, More springs, games. yeah, gold, gold, <laughs> gold, gold posh, yeah, gold engine bay, oh, this one, oh. Craig really loved this one, Big Craig, guys. You know how we've got this gigantic engine? Yeah. I've read on the Amazing. internet <laughs> that you that you must run two inch headers, <laughs> two inch primary headers. So, yeah, we basically we Craig made this, had this made, a lot of flanges, and then a week probably. Cause yeah. To get two inch, that's per primary every, every yeah. pipe out into three inch down pipes and three and a half inch. So around the steering column. Around the steering yeah. column in a coal. <coughs> You know, in, it's ridiculous. even like a 1D bend on two inches, obviously much bigger art yeah. than like a, a one and a half, you know, and it makes a massive, and it was... Yeah, so was there is lots of this, lots yeah. and lots of this, but yeah. Oh, these were absolute bollocks, weren't they? <laughs> they were Lasted really crap. Meeting. Yeah, they Magna empty. Flow. Yeah, they just emptied the contents and just sounded cool, but yeah, they were very expensive silencers to just fall apart. I just uh, spent ages wrapping that beautifully. That one, the one header has to go in in about three pieces yeah. to physically fit around everything yeah. and, and clear. Here's some fat people standing in the boot at the dyno trying to so get it to actually have traction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, truck slammed much better. Hmm? Rev one, revision yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slam yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, wait, wait, wait. That was one of two. Just yeah. you for an hour. <laughs> Three days later. Yeah, me and him rolling around on the floor for three days. Three I, days I don't later. think I've been that dirty for quite Simply a while. Simply flip the spring. Because it doesn't fit yeah. on a ramp. So no. It's so so stupid, but yeah, fixed. As far as I was concerned, still plenty of things <laughs> I didn't like about it, like the front wheels. Like a foot lower. Yeah. 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 It was about a foot, literally yeah. a foot lower. Yeah. yeah. So what power had we gone to from here then? So we, we didn't really know. Uh, right. Al LSX, an LSX stock. I ran one in my RX-8 and it was five... 8590 right. yeah. on a standing that got it's had the big cam in it yeah. in better headers and stuff so yeah 
six hundred plus, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't really know because we've never actually been that because diners vary so much. We've never really been hung up on figures. No. It's how it works because it works. Power's never yeah, been a absolutely. Yeah. As you can see, you can probably tell it's <laughs> got a bit of power. Uh, this is this is as an island. I think this was the first event that we used the car was in Ireland, wasn't it? Yeah, so, uh, well, up against um, second because it broke it in Teesside. Um, Lynn Hill, you broke that thing. So uh, okay. Uh, okay. No, this right. is the, Alice, the first one, the LSX. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 Against um, Darren, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, again, absolute animal. Uh, but it was the really first good. battle you won as well. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this, this is one of my favourite ever pictures of the car. So Daigo Saito and Robbie Nishida were there um, at IDC, uh, and Daigo literally could not take his eyes off the car. He um, he went round it with his mobile phone, taking pictures of absolutely every detail. And through Robbie, he, he told us that basically it was the coolest eighty six on the planet. That's so cool. So like at that point, we were like, holy crap! And that along with the love that Ireland shows for the car yeah, as well the, the guys are, yeah they absolutely love the car over there it's absolutely brilliant. we love we love going over there but that is that's me, really big because i mean yeah. like he is like daigo really does like push the drift builds he know, loves the building and stupid the shit, yeah. And, yeah yeah oh he's yeah absolutely brilliant so that made us i think it's fair to say that made us quite quite happy quite stoked with the car it was brilliant fair play. yeah um back at bdc this one I don't know. Oh, this was when I'd, I think I'd already done a qualifying yeah. run or something and just decided to get a bit Qualified silly. Qualified first, didn't you? Did I? Yeah. Stats, man. This is your safe. Oh, yeah, it's oh, just... Oh, you can view a PDF. Oh, excellent. Oh, Thanks. Nice. Yeah, so crap run in terms of clipping points, but yeah, just silly. You can hear how sharp, that's the old floor, but it's yeah. way sharp. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, just a high gear and... Disappears into the close. Brilliant car, nice. absolutely brilliant car. Um, so where are we at now? So there's more of that. Uh, yes, we fitted uh, an anti-roll bar here. So basically, welded some tabs to the cage itself, mm. and we used like a race style sort of. Um, it, again, it's kind of NASCAR style anti-roll bar, isn't it? Which, this was after speak you and um, Vaughan Gittin. Yeah, yeah. Year, wasn't it? Had a good chat about. Yeah, it sort of said go stiff on the anti-roll bar. So we started playing around with this. The stabs go through all the way through the floor it, onto the axle. And this is another uh, thing. Heavy yeah, so this this is the flywheel we're using with the Tilton clutch, Til- Tilton um, seven and a quarter clutch, uh, and it weighs two kilos, I think, wasn't it, something like that. Yeah. And we're thinking because of just how light it is and how responsive the engine was, it was just causing when you make adjustments while sideways, it was so snappy and twitchy. So we figured we'd try and make a flywheel. So Which is, again, is the car's inherent problem, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely. On off throttle, it just it's yep. very difficult to yep. it tries to straighten instantly. Yep. So yeah, we made this big ass flywheel, uh, which is really cool and helps dissipate the heat, but made no difference to how it drives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Easy to just going off and that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you don't worry about um, yeah. uh, about melting the clutch quite so much. And what oh, fun, yes, so. speed hunters. So our buddy, our buddy Bryn took this picture. Yeah. Um, and then this is oh, this is a video, of it, obviously. So, speed hunters get silly. Oh, thanks. You can learn to drive. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this, uh, yeah, obviously, this was uh, not me, this was somebody else driving, but the, uh, yeah, the, the, the guy told me that he couldn't breathe for like about yeah, two yeah. hours afterwards due to smoke inhalation. Quite a first Yeah, Aaron at the same time, that guy did this as well. It's John Guy. <laughs> it's, yeah, it must be Monkey London. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's prolific. <laughs> I think that demonstrates the speed of the car quite well. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so fast. It is, yeah. So fast. Ooh, quick. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. 
we'd um, I think a couple of times that year we'd lost um, competitions or you know we hadn't progressed oh, because of a missed really missed gear so down, 30 down second, shift. Thirty seconds yeah. always the issue. The linkage on the Jericho gearbox was on the left hand side of the box, so it's the wrong side for uh, a right hand drive car, and it had a bit of slack in it. Yeah, it really, just it's, wouldn't... it's quite mechanical with like levers and rods, and it's yeah, it's got across and push across. It's it's made for going second or third, yeah, yeah. much easier. And so it's really unnatural yeah. backwards. So yeah, when you put if you're on the left hand side of the car when you're pulling it in it's, second it's more natural yeah. but uh, you have to push it to say yeah we decided why not those are lovely excuses a you really expensive yeah, gearbox yeah. Yeah. you wanted a sequential gearbox <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so we wanted a, so we bought a uh, Quaif sequential six speed gearbox which is uh, the super duper heavy duty gearbox um, have you ever had a sequential? Did you no never gear? before this so this was a steep learning curve for me we decided that we were going to um, keep it so that we could refit the Jericho as a spare if we ever needed it mm. to needed to and um, it it was a lot of work to do that and mm. touch wood we have never ever had any issues with that quaif it's been absolutely brilliant mm. Um, we had to make some parts to do it. I'm using the the term we again, the royal we. Craig back on his Miller, way, yeah. back on his uh, his lathe. We're making the bell housing adapter there, and there we go. And a nice picture Classic. from Josh. Classic. Yeah, love that picture. Very cool. Uh, this is an interesting video actually because this is a video of a a very fast competitive car alongside us at Silverstone. This is Hux, Hux on the left at Trax. Yeah. And his, his car was... The shit out of yeah. his car, doesn't he? Yeah. So as you can see, he gets the jump on us, <laughs> and then it's just like... And we're gone. Yeah. There's, a, there's an actual video of that somewhere, um, of the other one where you just overtake him. Trax the year after, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. just clear off. But yeah, again, absolute. Machine. The car's so well set up for Silverstone. It's yeah, well, it was. I don't know what, what was up this year. Keep fucking with it, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, loved that one. And then we went to Poland, and this was an awesome event. It was it one had, of the best for the It's a bit of a really, last minute really, decision, yeah. but um, yeah, it's basically a, a, they decided that they were going to build a, a purpose built track in, in an arena. Yeah. Um, and it sounded, it sounded right up ass. And it sounded incredible just yeah. going around. So yeah, we did that and uh, Paddy's photos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is Rich's photo. Flames again. Is that flames out of the exhaust or wheels or tires? Flames out of the exhaust. Yeah. It was so cold though. It was, yeah. It was really cold. Uh, uh, yeah, we had a little bit of an accident. Well, it wasn't an accident. Basically, we were running the wall like quite hard um, the whole the whole time we were there. And you have to, ha you're not allowed back if you you can't go back out with any panels missing you need that's yeah, a great this is, rule. yeah it is yeah, drift is it drift GP isn't it yeah but they basically if you drop a, drop a body part a <laughs> body part if you drop a body panel as, you, as you're <laughs> yeah. driving yeah um, you're out so yeah this so is this it was is, on blind TV yeah. wasn't it yeah so like the Bud Mac team like you know have a, a crash like new clamshell yeah done yeah. finished yeah. Like, so yeah we were professional like. with our ratchet straps yeah. <laughs> yeah. which you then decided to walk into one and break that yes and luckily it held on just enough yes. for them Absolutely. That's the point where we were buying brand new Toyota genuine real life. Yes, every absolutely. Time as well. It was sad, wasn't it? We were, yeah. doing that so we decided to do this. Oh, yeah. You've rubbed the rear end off. I can't believe you've done this. But yeah. yeah. Again, there's a vision, I promise you. It'll be okay. We're normally on, on the way back from. <laughs> quite a lot missing there, though, isn't it? Yeah. On the way back from an event, we have like the chat, oh, what should we do and that? Then we yeah, we write the jobs ideas. list, don't we? And then normally Monday morning's quite a miserable day. <laughs> <laughs> You got a bit cutty yeah. with this one, didn't you? Yeah. And um, uh, this is the picture, though. This is come back from Nixon Motorsport again. This is all T forty five tube frame that's been built front and rear, uh, and yeah, you can probably see we've we probably lost quite a bit of weight from the car there. It's just lovely work. It it was also done for kind of being able to support it, being able to get access to stuff as well, to be able to just block bolt the whole front end. Yeah, off absolutely, off. absolutely. We've used it a few it's, times in rear track. Yeah, and. Um, Kevlar tubs, Gaz made for us, um, the uh, rear wheel arch tubs. Again, there's just nothing there, is there? Once that frame's off. Different pedal box, so yeah, we decided to move the driving position forward and put traditional um, pedals in it. I, I do prefer driving with this style of um, style of pedal box. Yes, and also we wanted the weight, my weight further forward in the car to see whether that helped with the transitions. Um, bigger rear bar. Yeah, bigger rear anti-roll bar, just more. 
still rocking CS2s. Ah, um, uh, yeah. Oh. Again, <laughs> I can't actually remember the justification for this, but I often have a conversation oh, yeah. with James, and it's I basically can. like, I've, I've, got, I've got this idea. <laughs> I can, yeah. You came back from Poland, and yeah. someone else in Poland had a car which was able to set its tires on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that 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 I want that. <laughs> that, yeah. that was pretty yeah. much that raised the bar. And yeah, nothing. They're forty thousand. Yeah, those are massed yeah, engines, those are massed engines yeah. and I think they. I think they bust a couple of them yeah, as well. Right, so that yeah, like yeah. we yeah we couldn't That's afford to do business. that. But yeah, we ended up with basically uh, an alloy block um, version of an LSX um, for all intents and purposes. Same CC. Yeah, four five four seven forty four, 4, 4 liter made by RHS, um, and it's just a, a work of art. Um, the components in it are beautiful. And this was this was kind of down to the wire again, wasn't it? We went for some of these parts from America for ages, getting yeah, messed about by the manufacturers yeah. and all sorts. We basically paid the American guys to build the heads. Yeah, three, these what, are three hundred seven cc yeah, heads. Yeah, getting all with, the heads shimmed and valve yeah. legs and um, spring and sword heights. Really quite technical. Thought yeah. like, let's just get the guys to do it because yeah, absolutely. They've got better equipment than I have. That's a pound coin. Yeah, That's what's going yeah for? big valves, big yeah. valves going in. You see the valve train there as well. And that, this is a silencer that we made. This was, I don't know, exhaust revision, 20, 2900. Um, GP3 style. It, well, it was, it was basically the mo the way we could get the most silencers in there to really quieten it down. Well, they threatened to, if you were too loud, you're not allowed to drive. Yeah, them, absolutely. So. Yeah, so we did things yeah. right, and it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, we do. Have We've still got it. Noise at UK tracks. Yeah, we do. Big problems. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dino Session, and that's at Emerald, who the ECU is an Emerald ECU, and the guys have helped us out a fair bit with it. And here you can see the clamshell at the back that's been made. It's made to look like proper body panels, but obviously didn't like this bit, no light. Um, so we made some stickers, and this was the, I think this was the night before the first yeah. round, was it? Or something? it was we were kind of, yeah, we were a bit Last fed up at this point. Now, yeah. yeah, because we weren't actually going to do the series this year, were we? No. We were going to do um, we just random and bits and of lovely things yeah. we decided to take us to. But BDC yeah. changed hands. Uh, Dave Egan took over the British Drift Championship and he'd been running the Irish Drift Championship successfully for years. And we just thought we need to be a part of this. Yeah. So we kind of last minute decided mm -hmm. to rush the car together. Um, in hindsight, it was it was a bit much that time. Wasn't it? We've done it many <laughs> times much. where there's all it, yeah, but we're all that a bit. That's a strong choice. Yeah, we were absolutely. Was it the start of twenty sixteen? Is that twenty yeah. sixteen? Come on, stats yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, go. I remember going to Tesco's for yeah. the last minute. Yeah. Dessert, so. And um, as I said earlier, the weight of the car was was originally about twelve hundred kilos, but it ended up much much more. So we'd added things like anti roll bars, big prop shafts, uh, heavier engine, much heavier gearbox, and we'd ended up pretty yeah. close to like four hundred fourteen hundred kilos, something like that. Uh, so after all of the space framing that we'd done, we actually ended up losing two hundred and two kilos. Um, it's two people, which is two big people. In a, I mean, we didn't even we didn't think it would be close to that, really, did we? What's we that were in American so pounds? surprised. Oh, I don't know. A that's, lot old that's, money. That's a lot. still with the big dual exhaust and yep. uh, you know mm. big back, you know, not yeah. stupid little. It's too. It's too fat for you. Yeah, absolutely. First and this was. Is this the first event? Yeah, round yeah. one. Yeah, round yeah, one. Okay, yeah, I pissed down, didn't it? So it's just Lydon Hill again. Yeah. Oh, this is the event. Uh, this is yeah. Boom. Stop now! Yeah, it's quite funny. After this, um, after this event, we got the car back, and we realised that one of the bars that we'd welded in to strengthen the rear end of it, it was actually the axle was almost completely bottomed out on it, so yeah, it had almost no suspension, suspension did it? Yeah. So, yeah. Best ever drove. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that what we'll call that is luck. Yeah, <laughs> and that was the main um, lift. After all that work and yeah. effort from a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. It suddenly went running terribly. In the, yeah. See, that doesn't look right, does it? I hate the, this picture. No, I leave it in. A... I leave this picture in stuff just to remind me what what is wrong. So basically, run us through it. Run us through. Bonnet. Blah. Blah. And you <laughs> Headlights. Blah. Blah. Ride height. Blah. <laughs> so all the Did things it? is basically because normally when we get ready for an event or we do a big build, it's we it's far enough in advance for us to have the time to tune the suspension, align the car, get the little bits right do the stuff that makes the cars our car basically yeah. this event we didn't have that and I leave this picture here just to remind me to not no, make it like a stop naughty we aligned it in the car park at the yeah, first we did. Literally yeah. oh we had a beer though looks alright from the back though doesn't it looks pretty cool but, we did have, have a beer, beer. Yeah. but the, um, the TPS 
went to South after all that effort yes. throttle position which was the best one you can buy because we'd already had issues with another one yeah decided yeah. to reprogram myself yeah. and go like I think 70 degrees up yeah so I thought it was at like so four is that the, that's the one the company said like their um, helicopter spec yeah, 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 yeah literally yeah. but so then we did, the... we did have a bad batch of them that that's, that can reprogram themselves you bet randomly well, disappointing <sighs> so I thought it was at like three quarter throttle yeah all the time. So, so that was time very, for boom like, at that point. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, this is after the event, so um, we're, so, we're sorting out that bar that yeah. was hitting, we chopped that and we're invest investigating the bump. So this is, it looks awesome. I wish I could run that low, but actually the chassis rails would touch the floor. Um, so that's with the with the shocks off? The it's back. simulated yeah. uh, bump basically as far as we go. Just that's with yeah, the, the axle is hitting the chassis rails at the top there, just to see how far it goes. And uh, we got Posh at this point, we had a Hunter alignment gear, didn't mm. we? And then here's the fix. The hand of gas, I reckon. Hand of gas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So me and him basically came up with his concoction to make it look like it had and the you, correct you, lights. Your tents broke. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad day. This yeah. was the start of the badness for that year, wasn't it? Was it? Did it go yeah. bad? I still got things poking out my bonnet as well. Yeah, that was yeah. as little as we could possibly yeah. get away with chopping out the bonnet, but yeah. still not good luck. Absolutely. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and then I don't see what you mean now. The rest of the year went yeah. great. So this T was a T side, and we had the crank seal from crank seal pop out or something. Well, Spent ages remember, fixing it. Remember we mentioned that we paid Americans to get the job done properly. Yeah. yeah. Turned out they didn't. Yeah. Uh, the, so this is a valve spring seat here in one of the heads. This which, is a, a whole one. And they're hardened steel. And yeah. Was, I think six of them were shattered. Yeah. Because they haven't installed the valve springs the right height. And um, the, it had gone through the whole gone through engine. The engine. It literally grenaded at RHS mm. block. It didn't. Nothing came mm. out of it. It was the block's, but, blocks okay, but yeah. the rest of it's a bit sad. So we were, sad we were, yeah. really was. off at that point. After all the work we'd done to get, well, we didn't the touch the car all year. Did, did we give up for the year then? <laughs> we then built the S15. Then we ah, then yeah, put yeah, the R32 back. You know, yeah. Ah, yes, so okay. Back, yeah. We parked the S and the Corolla up, and that was it. Oh yeah, I got carried away with other things as well, like real drive Different converting my LP640 yeah. and slamming the truck more. Slam the truck yeah, more, yes. That's good, correct. Good. Correct wheels. Yes, happy days now. So moving on to where we are now. So yeah. More bits. It's rebuilt RHS engine. Oh yeah, another new dry sump system built daily because we're starting to have issues with oiling. Uh, main bearings, weren't we? Main, main bearings, bearings were starting yeah, to run, yeah. which was really which unusual. Is, shouldn't happen. Yeah. You know, you're sure big engines always work before mains. But. Yeah, so, and then it's rebuilt. This is significant. This is the um, one part of the ATI damper. Off like the, the off NASCAR. Yeah, off the NASCAR. Uh, was that prototyping to take before you realised there was an issue with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So we've got new dry sump parts as well. So we went dash 12, went really big on all the pipes and everything, new filters. Because we have having issues with the main bearings wearing, like after yeah. a few meetings, I would put main bearings in. Yeah. yeah. And luckily we were, we were actually data logging our um, mm. oil pressure and paying quite close attention to stuff at that point. So we were able to spot a small dis discrepancy, weren't we? And actually, yeah, that was really Before helpful. it did any damage to the actual metal it, down, yeah. Yeah. it would just mean that we'd so have to So a lot of rounds, basically, you were sort of pulling the car out rather than destroying we, it. We could yep. have kept running it. I mean, in yeah. people yeah. would normally, but it's like it's just not. It's not worth it. You yeah. know, it's not Absolutely. worth it. Yeah. No throttle bodies. Sad day again. Um, <laughs> we, one of the other things we were just fed up and with uh, sort of having these uh, reliability issues um, and filtration was another thing that we couldn't really do very well on the Gen V throttle bodies because of how they worked, proximity to the bonnet and whatnot. Without having big filters on them. Yeah, and we also like felt like we were kind of lacking a bit of power, weren't we? Yeah. Even though it was quite a good kit, at this level, the build of the engine was, it was such a like mega engine spec that we felt like we should get a bit more power out of it. Yeah. So we decided to fit a reverse MSD um, it was actually ported by Tony Mano, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's more like a factory intake. Yeah, it's factory it's intake plastic. style, but it's mm. reverse. So I think we'll show you in a minute, but it goes through the bulkhead. Um, and what are the other things? Well, that's just a vacuum valve, isn't it? That's part of it. We decided to change to um, an actual engine mount setup instead of a rubber engine mount, instead of solid mount, because it was mounted in four positions before, mm. wasn't it? I think. The, we used original um, NASCAR mount, which is for. Two on the engine, two on the bad housing. Yeah. And there was a theory that the, Bill yeah, Daly was the one who got, he said, he said it's not really the best the way to sit mount the interpose, how it yeah. makes well. Really? Yeah. So Taking two battles off, so we, we went to some softer mounts. And Fabrication time. There they are sitting there. Hole. Hole. Gen V 
ITB 102, sorry, not ITB, Jeremy Throttle Body. There you go, it's sitting, this is inside the cab now. I mean, there's no air pressure restrictions or No, there's like nothing that. like that. We built a box around the filter, as you can see here, and we ran it on the dyno with the lid off, and it made no difference to power. Is that a cable throttle now, rather than the yeah. fly-by-wire? Uh, we never had fly-by-wire fly in there. Yeah. We never had fly-by-wire on it. It was, um, it was always cable. It's uh, made a massive difference to how it drives at low speed. It's way more like lumpy. It's got a big camera. Probably like Bond, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, testing. Oh, blocking yeah, them. Spring yeah. Sure it was, oh, yeah. yeah obviously. It's testing. It's 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 yeah. on it. And yeah. then the race, race yeah. track prep. Yeah. Rug. Mega rig. Rug. Uh, and, yeah, after the event, yeah. sort of checking things like bump steer. So I had to do quite a bit of adjustment to get the bump steer correct. Martin Richards joins the team. Yeah. Hey, Martin. This was a legit photo. A lot of people thought that this was um, static with some smoke added in. This is uh, this yeah. was a lot of fun and quite terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> for you uh, and for me. Where yeah, I yeah. Stood yeah. there taking a picture while you... <laughs> for your very nice working drivers. Uh, we Real made a bonnet. carbon bonnet, That's yes. That's like quite... Custom was it 10 carbon. kilograms? Yeah, yeah. it's quite, quite a lot. Good. Again important things and I think this is the point where we started doing um, sort of vlogs almost yeah. weekly mm. we actually decided to step up our YouTube game quite considerably at this point so um, well, it's been a lot point. since then hasn't it yeah there? that's it I mean this is the thing at this point now we started recording it much more on video and yeah. this is the mm. this is where now it, like if you at home want to watch exactly how everything got built in fact the first video yeah that so that do, that is that video that's the start point and anything from that point on is sort of higher quality and I don't know. Some people yeah, like the stuff, stuff, some people it don't. Gets but, you, you know. It certainly gets you to where the car roughly is today. And yeah, now absolutely. This has been really good because you've now managed to start... Reliability really is now, I think, touch wood. As okay. of six, six rounds, events yeah, ago, yeah. Like yeah. Including, that's including a couple of practice days. Ba basically, we, the, after lots of time and effort and money and... And learning. And, and, yeah. and yeah. you know, speak to everybody in the business that we could think, you know, um, it mm. turned out the front damper, the front pulley off of the NASCAR. Yeah. Um, even though it's supposedly yeah. the same what I spec was, it's, it's designed to take the harmonics out of the crank and it wasn't. And it all fell down to that damper. Well, yeah, yeah we had, it, actually, no, it's not, the, yeah, so here we've got the RHS yeah. block. It's actually like pulled the cam yeah. bearing uh, in the, the back There's forward. Harmonics like, and vibrations going through the engine. It's actually like, it's just the cam bearing to move and it cranks it, you know. And yeah. So, so this is the it. last, this is the last time it was apart, I think, isn't it? We were getting fed up by now. Yeah, I mean, absolutely fed up, last chance. Uh, and then we, we, we literally said, there's three things on this car. Drive shelf break. Yeah. Well, that's going to happen at some point. Yeah. yeah. We are expecting it for a while. Yeah. More it's exhaust stuff. Yeah. We went to Vegas. We had uh, fun. And my mate went to hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As my stag do. <laughs> um, but yeah, somewhere down here... We were at Teesside, weren't we? I mean, and there it is. There we go. Yeah, we've right. yeah. been keeping an eye really carefully on the oil pressure as yeah, we've been doing, sort of data logging it. And checking yeah. after every run. And, yeah. And we were noticing it was dropping and dropping. And then, like, I think it was the next morning, we started from cold, knowing we should have, you know, yeah. 65 psi, and we were 20 down. It's like, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and we were literally stood there drinking a beer, very what? unhappy. So we'd basically gone through everything, and there was. Um, there was there was three remaining constants. Uh, it literally said that there's three things that are the same. There's yeah. you, me, <laughs> yeah. and the crank, literally the front crank pulley. Yeah. And we just started Google, you know, Google our front crank pulley, you know, because I know I've had um, snap cam chains in the past and everything. And, you know, one of the first things on the ATI thing is, oh, yeah, main bearing wear. Yeah. <laughs> so, Crazy. it's like, uh, yeah. Well, that, okay. and that but we've looked past this as a potential issue with the car mm. purely because it has the letters ATI stamped on the front. Yeah, we had one. It Which is, is a be it the is best. The best that you can get, and uh, it's uh, the rules are you either use an ATI crank damper or you use an OEM crank That's damper right, yeah. um, on a car. You don't mess about with any others generally. Uh, there's no point. Get the right one. So we look past it as a potential issue. The, I mean, I, I've it's had it part, Basically, it's big wood robins inside, which um, turn the vibration into heat and dissipate it, and that's how it, 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 it works. Mm, yeah. And we'd add it part, and look, they're absolutely fine. So have to push it together. But beyond that one, in, inside again, is another level, which you can't get apart easily, you need a tool. And when we eventually thought, like, right, we're pulling it apart, they were pretty screwed. Yeah. So and we they actually said, found something wrong yeah, with it. Which was we the like, first time ever, really. We're like, oh my God, is this yeah. it? And actually what we did was because we had, um, we, we replaced the whole front pulley, didn't we? Yeah. So Bill Daly has a particular yeah. ATI 
crank damper that he uses. We figured that maybe the Ascar one also wasn't the correct spec because it was for the smaller capacity engine, met, not made to rev as high, etc. So we put this on, which is a new ATI damper, links to the same dry sump pump, put it on, drove it, no problems. Drove it again, no problems. Drove it again, no problems. We're like, what the fuck's going on here? Isn't it about time we did a rebuild? Yeah. That's <laughs> and we are literally now six events, six, seven events in, yeah. into yeah. hard use of that car. We haven't dropped one PSI or pressure. And we still data log, and I still worry. I still yeah. worry every time every, I start. Every morning, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time we start, do we do it? But yeah, we've uh, we have fucking nailed it finally. How come we went for a, an ATI pulley instead of putting a stock one on? The stock it, one might have been a It's a dry sum. Some, and we had it. an ATI pulley. Yeah. It's the yeah. best one. You put it on. Yeah. You, that's how you deal with the problem. Yeah. So, so that pretty much. That brings us up to date, really. Yeah. We've got a car in the trailer. We just we smashed some bits off it at Angle C, exploding a tire. Yeah. We've got some bodywork to do. Uh, we've got a new wing mirror to buy. Other than that, for next season, it's pretty much ready to go unless we come up with any wise yeah. ideas. Two yeah. turbos. No turbos. No turbos. Two thousand. No, 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 no. Maybe turbos, but first E thirty M three project is going to get done. So. That's about it, really. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to know anything about the car, you can check out the forum threads, just driftworks.com. You can type D DW86 into Google, you'll find it. Uh, if you want to ask questions on YouTube, it's usually me nowadays that answers the technical questions, so yeah. please go ahead. I'll do my oh, I, can, I can try and answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably best you don't know, yeah. <laughs> be a technical reply. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long video. If you got to the end, fair play. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks very much. Time. Bye, you too. See you next week. See you. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye.